Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here with another fun-filled week of science and I can't wait to begin to dive right in and learn some more with you. So last week we were conducting our pendulum experiments. We began the experiment by investigating the variables of our experiment. We saw the pendulums, we investigated the different lengths. Remember we had pendulums of 12, 20, 36, and 52 centimeters in length. And then we, as we dropped them from the same height, remember the, we dropped them parallel to the height of the table. We watched them swing for 15 seconds. And we saw, as we looked at our data, that as the length of our string got longer, the number of string, the number of swings, excuse me, that we saw decreased or got smaller. So we had a fewer swings with a longer string because it took a longer time for that pendulum to go from one side of the table to the other and come back. And remember that is what we were counting as one swing. Now, as we move forward, I want you to create in your mind for now, just in your mind, an experiment that you might be able to do at home. Think of something you have. Um, maybe some of you have a ball lying around at home, a soccer ball, baseball, basketball, um, squishy ball that you can have in your hand, um, a Nerf ball golf ball, ping pong ball, any ball, or some Hot Wheels cars. You could do a lot of experiments with those types of items, okay? Safely, gently, and with adult supervision, okay? What you are going to do first is think about all of the variables in your experiment after, of course, having designed your experiment. You're going to use our pendulum experiment to guide your thinking as you create this experiment of your own. Okay, to begin, after thinking of something you can do, think of what things you, you are going to have to consider as you design your experiment. What kinds of variables are you going to have in your experiment? Record those variables on a piece of paper so that you don't lose track of them. Okay, keep a running document going so that you can't, so that you can keep track of them, but also so you can refer back to them, so you can come back to them. Okay, try writing these down in a notebook in a place that's somewhere safe. Okay, then you'll be able to continue working off of that notebook paper. Okay, as we work, I am not gonna have you submit a picture of that yet, but that will be how you turn in your work. You can take a picture of it and post it to the assignment Dropbox. Okay, today, what I want you to think about, I'm gonna open up a discussion so that you can feed off of each other's answers and see the kinds of things you're each posting. Okay, I want us to brainstorm how you can go about designing your own experiment. Today we're gonna come up with variables to consider from the past week that may carry over into this week. So before we do that, think for a second about the variables we came across in our pendulum experiment. Think about the variables from that experiment that might carry over into your own. Remember, they don't have to yet because you haven't created your experiment. Think about the ones that could. Okay. Now, after going through this thinking, participate in the discussion. It's a discussion. Is there a wrong answer? 
The only wrong answer is an answer that shows you weren't really trying. As long as your answer is reasonable, you're good to go. You're going to get all of the all of the discussion points. Okay? Remember, answers like okay or I don't know aren't acceptable. You are fifth graders. Take a guess. I will let you know if you need to keep thinking or keep, think a different way. I will help you. I will guide you. It's okay to make mistakes. It's not okay to not try. All I ask ever, all I ever ask of you is for you to do your best. Okay? Have fun. Think hard. Participate and have a lovely day. Goodbye, everyone.